Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you along while I get the classroom ready for school next week. Um, if you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know, but I homeschool my daughter. She is four and in pre-K. Um, so every Sunday I get the classroom cleaned up. I go through all of the stuff that we're going to be doing for the next week and I just prepare myself and the classroom for any activities and plans that we have. Um, so I thought it might be fun to bring you guys along with me. The first thing we're going to be doing is getting the classroom cleaned up because it is a mess after a week of school. Um, we do keep up with it on a daily basis, but by the end of the week, we usually have some kind of mess we need to clean up, so we are going to do that. We're also going to discuss some of our plans for the upcoming week, so you guys will kind of get to see um, what activities we have planned coming up. We are currently focusing on the body with Halloween coming up. I thought that that would be fun, so um, we have some skeleton stuff, and we're going to be discussing some bones and organs next week, so I'll go ahead and show you the activities I have planned for that. We're also going to reset our morning board, so you guys will get to see what that looks like. And um, every week we go to story time on Wednesdays, and every time we go, I pick up new books. So every Sunday I swap out the books. We're also going to do that today. So I think that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in seeing what I do to prepare for a school week, just keep on watching. All right, so like I said, the first thing that we're going to do is clean up the classroom. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like now. As you can see, the tablecloth under the table is kind of messed up and needs to be vacuumed. Um, our table has some stuff on it. This is the project that my daughter worked on last week and a couple other little art pieces and the tablecloth on top is messed up. Um, I'm going to be swapping out some of her artwork today because as you can see, we've filled um, the line that we have for all of her art. Here is our morning board. So we still have Friday's date on there, so that will need to be changed. And then um, on the side, we have like the letter of the week, number of week, all that stuff needs to be swapped out for new stuff. The books that I was talking about will go up here on the shelf. I already took some down. I just need to put them back up. And then my desk needs to be cleaned up a little bit and the little play area needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So. That is what we're gonna go ahead and do first.
right, so step one is done. We've got the classroom cleaned up. I'm gonna be putting the tablecloths in the laundry and then I'll put them back on later. I went through her art and took some of it down and put a couple new things up. Um, and then I mostly just wiped the table, vacuumed the floor, vacuumed the rug. Um, I cleaned up her little toy area, so I kind of separated her books. So now on this side are like more educational books, and then on that side are more like fun books that she can read. And then I put her human books, like the body books, on the top since that is what we are learning about right now. Um, this yellow binder that you guys saw is where I keep all of her work that she's done. So that is where I put her artwork that I took down. I got my desk area cleaned up. So it's looking much better and then we added the books on top of these shelves so um, now that the room is clean we are going to work on her morning boards like I mentioned earlier um, we still have the Fridays sorry no I focused on my finger um, we sell Friday's date up there so I'm just gonna take that off because we will put that on on Monday when we do it um, but I guess I'll just like go over my morning board real quick. We have the season, the weather, which the weather will take down, the temperature will take off because we do those daily. Um, I just for personal reasons, I took down all of our personal information, but we normally have her birthday on there, um, her name, our address. And then on the other side is our um, letter of the week, number of the week, shape of the week, color of the week. So all of those will be taken down. And the way that I do these is I just have random bags of random um, letters, numbers, whatever, and I just pick it randomly. And then we normally have my phone number on there and her dad's phone number on there. So we are going to go ahead and switch all that stuff out right now. So I got all of her stuff switched out. Like I said, we will be doing the weather, the temperature together. I'll put the rest of her personal information on um, after this video. We'll put the date on the day of, and then same thing with today. I feel she picks that the day of. Um, as far as all the weekly things, we have the letter I next week. Um, number 10, the shape is oval and the color is purple. So that is kind of how we do our morning board and we go over all of this stuff every single day. Um, when I first came up with this idea, I didn't think we were going to go over everything, but we go through it pretty quick and it definitely does help her to repeat all of the information on this board daily. She already has our address memorized and she almost has both of our phone numbers memorized. Um, she knows how to spell her name, which as you can see, her name's pretty short to begin with, but we will be doing her first and last name starting um, after winter break. So that is kind of how we do our morning board. And now that that is done, we are gonna go ahead and pull out our plans for next week so we can make sure we are prepared. Okay, so when it comes to preparing for the upcoming week, I always refer to my planner. Um, if you didn't see my pre-k curriculum how i planned the school year video um, basically i planned out everything we're going to do from the first day of school until winter break so everything we're doing is already in my planner which makes it really easy for me to prepare for the next week i already have most of my worksheets printed out um, the only thing we'll have to do is if there's like a project where we need a certain art supply or something that i don't have we might have to go get it so um Planner is the first thing we're going to refer to, and then also I have my binder, and this is where I keep all of the worksheets. So, let's go ahead and look for the upcoming week, which is right here. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Last week, we did not do school. 
Um, it was a short week anyways. We weren't planning on doing school Monday or Tuesday because my son was out of school and we usually follow his schedule. Um, but then we just got busy, especially because we found out my husband ended up having to go out of town last minute. So we ended up not doing any school last week. So what we're going to do this coming week is kind of combine some of the stuff we had planned last week with the stuff we had planned next week. So um, as far as like her English language arts and her math, those we can easily just push into the next week and then we'll just adjust going forward. Um, and then when it comes to the activities, we're just going to pick and choose our favorite ones and get as many of them done next week as we can. And then whatever we don't get done, we will do on the weekends or whatever. Again, since we homeschool and she's only in pre-K, it's pretty flexible. I can do any of these activities with her at any time. Um, so it's not a huge deal. So last week it looks like we were supposed to work in our workbook for, um, English language arts and math, so that's easy. We'll just pull it out next week. We don't have to do anything with that. And then a few activities that I had planned was to color the brain and discuss the brain. So let me find. Okay, so it looks like I, there it is. So here's my worksheets. I printed a brain and I printed a heart. Um, so she's going to be coloring. We'll probably actually do these both the same day since like I said, we're gonna be combining some stuff. So um, we'll discuss the brain a little bit, we'll discuss the heart, and then she's gonna color both of these. And then we will be putting these on our skeleton that we have hanging up. So um, that will be one activity that we do next week. And then what we had planned next week was things to do with the body. I mean with um, bones. So I have a skull that I printed so she will be coloring the skull and we'll be discussing skulls and is that it we will be labeling the bones on the skeleton which that I will obviously be doing with her so we don't really need anything to prepare for that um, I might look up a worksheet just to make it easy and maybe I can find something that has like the major bones with their names already on them and then we can just tape them on or something um, but otherwise, that one's pretty easy to prepare for. We will also be doing her felt body and organs activity. With, but um, let me go ahead and show you guys what I do with the worksheets. Okay, so once I have my worksheets, as you can see over here, we have these folders. Um, this is how I separate the worksheets. So we will do um, the brain and heart on Monday. We will do the skeleton probably maybe Thursday and then Tuesday we'll do her little felt activity that I need to find so I'll put that in there once I find it. Wednesday we will be putting the um, organs on her skeleton and then Friday we will put the bones on her skeleton. So so that's pretty much it. Now that I have all of our activities planned, I've got our worksheets out, I'm going to go ahead and find that felt activity that I was telling you guys about um, and add that to the folders. And I might find a worksheet with the bones on it and add that to the folders. But other than that, we are ready to go for next week. So, oh, and you guys can see our little skeleton behind me. So this is the skeleton I was talking about. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, so we'll just be putting his brain on and his heart and all that good stuff. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. If you're interested in more homeschooling videos, I do have a few already on my channel and I have a few more planned coming up in the future. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.